Yo! Another video for hydrostatic. So, ito naman yung tungkol sa pressure variation in depth. So, tandaan natin na lahat na muna pinag-uusapan natin ay mga fluids at rest or static. Sabi dun sa mismong topic natin ay ang pressure ay may variations o may pagkakaiba-iba ng value depende sa depth ng fluid. So, para mas maintindihan natin, gawa natin siya ng derivation. Say, meron tayong controlled volume or meron tayong containment. At yung volume ng fluid ay merong uh, kalaliman, no? o merong depth. No? So, denote natin yung depth niya as depth H. So, ang gagawin natin doon sa controlled volume, may kukuha lang tayo ng part. So, part ng volume galing dun sa total volume nung control volume. Medyo magulo. Pero para mas madali nating maintindihan at mas madali nating maderive, ang kukunin nating volume ay volume of a cube. So, yung lahat ng sides dun sa cube, eh, denote natin as S. So, anong titingnan natin dito? Alamin natin kung ano ba yung mga forces involved dun sa volume ng cube. So, para mas madali natin maintindihan, ay gawa natin ng free body diagram yung cube. Say, ito yung cube. At kung mapapansin natin, doon sa upper face ng cube, ay meron dyan column of liquid. Ngayon, yung column of liquid yan, magkakos yan ng weight, no? O force. So, tawagin natin yung upper face ng cube as point 1. At syempre, tawagin natin yung force acted upon the upper face of the cube as F sub 1. Since static yung system natin, dapat lahat ng forces natin are in equilibrium. So, para mangyari yun, dapat meron pa ring resisting force dun sa bottom face of the cube. So, tawagin natin yung bottom face of the cube as point 2 at yung force uh, acted upon the bottom face of the cube is F sub 2. So, maliban dun sa nabanggit natin na dalawang forces, eh, syempre, may volume pa rin yung cube. So, meron pa rin yung makikreate na weight. So, write down na natin yung ating gagamiting static equation. So, that's summation of forces to vertical is equal to zero. So, ang ginagawa ko dito, lahat ng forces going upward is equal to lahat ng forces lahat going downwards. So, ang going upwards is F sub 2 equals lahat ng forces na going downwards which is F sub 1 plus W. Since in terms of forces, yung ating static equation, eh, pwede natin siyang i-convert into hydrostatic property since uh, liquid naman yung pinag-uusapan natin dito. So, pwede natin siyang kunin sa pressure. So, para makuha natin yung value ng forces in terms of pressure, so that would be F is equal to P times A. At yung uh, weight, eh, kunin natin dun sa mass ng cube, no? So, kunin natin siya sa formula ng W is equal to mass times the acceleration due to gravity. So, magiging equation natin would be P sub 2 times A sub 2 is equal to P sub 1 times A sub 1 plus mg. So, pwede pa nating extract further yung ating equation. So, yung mass, pwede pa nating i-convert into fluid property. So, pwede natin siyang kunin sa density. So, rho is equal to m over v. So, maging value ng ating mass ay mass is equal to density times volume. So, i-replace na natin yung mass no, dun sa ating working equation into rho v. So, uh, palta na natin siya into rho v times g. So, pwede pa natin expand yung ating equation. Kasi yung lahat ng terms natin dito sa equation ay in terms of A. So, uh, dun sa ating third term, eh, pwede pa natin expand yung v in terms of A. Kasi ang formula natin for volume would be uh, area times height. So, kunin natin yung area ng face ng cube times its height which is S times G. So, kung papansin nyo, ang tinutukoy natin dito ang area is yung area ng face ng upper at saka bottom part. So, saan ba naka-apply yung F sub 1 and F sub 2? Diba dun sa upper at saka sa bottom part din ng cube? So, yun din yung tinutukoy natin dun sa cross-sectional area A. So, pwede natin sabihin that A is equal to A sub 1 and also equal to A sub 2. So, ang mangyayari, makakancel na lahat ng functions ng area dito sa ating equation. So, ang matitira na lang would be P sub 2 equals P sub 1 plus uh, rho G times S or yung height ng cube. So, kung mapapansin nyo, itong function na to ay equivalent din sa gamma which is uh, gamma is equal to rho times g. So, plug in natin yung gamma o yung specific weight sa ating equation. So, that would be P sub 2 equals P sub 1 plus gamma times S o yung uh, height ng cube. 
So, since sagawa na natin yung ating working equation, eh, try natin extend yung column ng liquid hanggang dun sa kanyang maximum limit. So, kukunin na natin ditong height is yung total height na ng containment which is represented by H. So, mapapalta na yung upper at saka lower face natin. So, yung upper face natin would be the liquid surface which is yung exposed na sa air o yung exposed na sa atmosphere. So, yung magiging number 2 natin o yung bottom face natin ay yung mismong bottom na ng containment. So, ngayon, ang magiging work equation na natin would be the pressure at the bottom is equal to yung pressure at uh, the liquid surface that would be the atmospheric pressure plus gamma H. So, ano mapapansin nyo dito sa equation? So, kaparehas to dun sa diniscuss natin na absolute pressure nung last time. Kasi yung function dito na gamma H is the representation of the total gauge pressure at the bottom of the controlled volume. So, magiging formula na natin would be absolute pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure plus the gauge pressure which is represented by gamma H. So, ngayon, uh, paano kung gusto nating kunin lang ay yung gauge pressure at any point of a controlled volume. No? So, ngayon, uh, didisregard lang natin syempre yung uh, atmospheric pressure. So, base dun sa ating working equation, kapag uh, disregard lang natin siya, so the pressure at the bottom of the containment would be gamma H. Or at any point, ang magiging uh, formula natin would be gauge pressure is equal to gamma H. So, kung titingnan natin sa formula, ay may mga involved tayo na functions gaya ng uh, specific weight at saka height. No? So, kung mataas ang ating gamma o specific weight, pihadong mataas din ang maging value ng pressure. At kung mataas din naman yung height o yung lalim ng liquid, no? ay pihadong magiging mataas din ang value ng pressure. So, kung illustrate natin yung pressure diagram ng liquid at a given depth, eh, mapapansin natin na nag-iiba ang value ng pressure depende sa depth nito. So, ibig sabihin, dun sa surface, yung sa surface ng liquid, nandun yung minimum or uh, wala pang gauge pressure dun kung wala namang fluid sa ibabaw niya. Kasi hindi pa naman natin kinoconsider yung uh, atmospheric pressure. At dun sa pinakamalalim o dun sa bottom ng height, eh, nandun yung maximum pressure. So, habang bumababa ang, ang depth, eh, tumataas din ang value ng pressure. And that would be all. Thank you so much.